Hi everyone, welcome back to Engineers Tech Hub channel. So in this video, guys, I will share Globant interview question for automation test engineer. Requirement is three to ten year. Okay. So mainly they are going to focus on the Java skill set and Selenium. So mostly question they have asked from Core Java, and they have asked uh, programming, and they have asked some question related to Selenium. So first question is tell me about yourself so if you are watching my series so if you are attending interview as experience or whatever so first question always tell me about yourself but tell me about yourself what you have to explain so i have already created a dedicated video so if you are following my channel and playlist please check over there if you're not able to find the videos you can reach out to me you can follow me on my Instagram and you can directly message on my Instagram and you can comment below. Definitely, I will reply back to you. Next question they have asked Selenium web driver definition and implementation. So what is Selenium web driver? So if you will go for the Selenium official documentation, web driver is your interface. Okay, technically, this is your interface. But if you will go for the implementation level, so we have a uh, many thing inside this. So just check inside this official documentation. What do you meaning of implementation? So when you are using Chrome driver, Firefox driver, so all are the implementation class of the web driver. But yeah, you have to learn in the depth. Just check the official documentation. Next question they have asked: write a question, print the output in uh, in front of pyramid. Actually, uh, they have asked some question uh, to write the code and print the output as a pyramid. Like you can see, we have some pyramid related output, right? One, one or two, one. So they have given this question to write. So next question they have asked, write a code, how to take a, a screenshot in Selenium. So this is very repeated question, guys. And definitely one line and two line of the code. So just prepare well. So I'm just moving on the next question. Even all this uh, answer, right? You will get in my channel also, or you will get in Google and chat GPT, try to make this answer if you don't know. This video will help you if you are attending the interview or you are getting the calls from Globant, right? So you will get some idea what types of the question they're going to ask you. Many of them are requested. Can you make the answer? as well so if you will go for my previous video for the same series so i have already created the answer and 80 to 70 80 70 to 80 percent questions are repeated so that's why i'm not adding again same answer here so we will watch you will get it and we have launched also interview question and answer book for pdf hard copy and soft copy pdfs are available where we have a 80 percent repeated question if you want to buy you can buy it you can reach out to me okay definitely that book will help you you are getting many posts on my community as well okay so that is also very helpful to do uh, you know uh, prepare for your interview so i am moving in the next question how to remove repeated word from output in the string so what happened we have a summer string so when they say the repeated word right okay so repeated word not a character repeated word understood right so suppose we have a one a string uh, i am from bangalore 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 right so you have to a split first of all in the word right we have a split method it will return a string type of an array and from there you have to write the logic to how to remove the duplicate word right so this is, this is what they have asked and this question I already made. I have a one playlist for uh, programming interview question and answer where I have uploaded all the repeated interview questions. So they have asked, write the code for, do not use any predefined method. Okay, so you have to write in your logic. I am moving in the next question. So next question they have asked, what are the no such element and not visible exception? So no such element, means when you will get no such element exception element does not exist at all on the web page in this scenario you will get no such element 
एंड एलिमेंट नॉट विजिबल एक्सेप्शन मीन्स एलिमेंट इज एग्जिस्ट बट इट इज हिडन ऑन द वेब ड्राइवर कैन नॉट इंट्रैक्ट विथ ओके ओके सो यू विल गेट नो एलिमेंट नॉट विजिबल एक्सेप्शन सो आई एम मूविंग इन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कैन बी डिफाइन प्राइवेट इन abstract class no we cannot define a uh, private uh, as a abstract class you will get compile time error so next question they have asked what are the static and non static variable so next question if you are watching my java series i think you will explain very well what is a static and non static variable i have given the uh, Uh, you know theory as well i have given some practical code as well and definitely you will understand very good over there just you can do the practice so next question they have asked some scenario based uh, they have asked to write the x path uh, in the website of flipkart okay and they have given some scenario based over there so mainly the the element was dynamic okay so you have to navigate from one node to another node so those scenario you have to use following and preceding concept so while using the following and preceding concept and you will able to write the x path so if you don't know the parent child preceding and following you can watch my series for x path i have already uploaded the video next question they have asked what is the difference between find element and elements so find element if you want to find the single element right we will use find element method and if you have a multiple element then we will use find elements method and it will return list of the web element again they have asked one more question write a program so they have given one a string a string is i am from globent so what the output it will print suppose we have a i so i have i means how many character we have so you have to count the character here so i means one so value will come one then m a m so how many character we have two character then it will print two then from how many character four globent how many character seven so this is the output it will come try to solve this is your assignment just if you're not able to solve that take the help from the google and chat gpt or you can reach out to me and follow me on my instagram you will get my instagram id uh, in the description of the video so we can have a chat over there if you have any doubt guys so in the next video guys so bye bye and please subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get more uh, uh, video notification thank you see in the next video bye bye